This is the AJCC Cancer Staging Moments. This is breast case number one, and I'm Donna Gress. This is the presentation of a brand new case. It's a newly diagnosed breast cancer patient who's being presented at cancer conference for treatment recommendations and clinical staging. The history and physical. This is an 85-year-old female who presented with an abnormal screening mammogram, no palpable breast masses, and the axillary nodes were not palpable. There's no family history and no hormone replacement therapy. The mammogram showed a 0.5 centimeter area of microcalcifications in the central left breast mid-depth. It was suspicious by magnification and spot compression views. The stereotactic core needle biopsy was recommended. There was no further imaging performed. The procedure the patient underwent for diagnosis was a stereotactic core needle biopsy of the central left breast. The pathology was ductal carcinoma in situ, cribriform, and solid type, nuclear grade 2, estrogen receptor positive, and progesterone receptor positive. For clinical staging, we use information from the physical exam, imaging, and diagnostic biopsies. The purpose is to select appropriate treatment and estimate the prognosis. Now the synopsis for the clinical staging. We have an elderly patient with a 0.5 centimeter DCIS lesion only visible on imaging. The axilla is negative on exam and imaging. What is the clinical stage? The T, the N, the M, and the stage group. Now here are the correct answers. The clinical stage is TIS N0, M0, stage group 0. Based on this stage, the treatment is selected, and you should review NCCN or other treatment guidelines for this stage. Here are the NCCN treatment guidelines. The clinically significant prognostic factors applicable to this case are Paget's disease, no, estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptor positive, HER2 status is not applicable, and the method of node assessment is radiographic and physical exam. There are no prognostic factors required for staging. Now we are looking at the surgery and the findings. The procedure is an image-guided wire-localized left partial mastectomy, or lumpectomy. No lymph nodes are excised. The findings show that the specimen radiograph reveals microcalcifications and a clip in the center of the specimen. The final pathology is deferred to the permanent pathology. Now here are the pathology results. DCIS, cribriform and solid type, nuclear grade 2. Invasive ductal carcinoma, 1 millimeter. Invasive cancer, scarf bloom Richardson grade 1. Margins of resection are free. The closest margin inferior is at 5 millimeters, and HER2 is negative. Now, pathologic staging uses information from the clinical staging supplemented or modified by information from the surgery and the pathology report. The purpose of this is for additional precise data for estimating the prognosis and calculating end results, survival data. A synopsis of the case patient with a 0.5 centimeter DCIS and a 1 millimeter infiltrating duct CA, no nodes removed. What is the pathologic stage? The T, the N, the M, and the stage group. Now the correct answer is PT1MI, and remember it's just MI in the 6th edition we were using the abbreviation MIC, this has been changed in the 7th edition. PNX CM0, and stage group unknown. Based on this pathologic stage, there is more information to estimate prognosis and adjuvant treatment is selected. Now the rationale for the staging choices. PT1MI is microinvasion less than or equal to one millimeter in size. PNX because sentinel or axillary nodes were not removed and pathologic staging cannot be completed. And clinical M0 because you use the clinical M with pathologic staging unless there is pathologic confirmation of distant metastasis. The clinically significant prognostic factors applicable to this case.
Paget's disease is no. Scarf bloom Richardson on invasive cancer is grade 1. Estrogen receptor is positive. Progesterone receptor is positive. HER2 status is negative. And the method of node assessment is radiographic and physical exam. There are no prognostic factors required for staging. Here is an image of T1MI from the AJCC Cancer Staging Atlas. Now just a recap of the staging. The clinical stage is TIS N0M0 stage group 0 and the pathologic stage is T1MI PNX CM0 stage group unknown. The staging classifications have a different purpose and therefore can be different. Do not go back and change the clinical staging based on pathologic staging information. It's always important to review site-specific information if needed. Clinical staging is based on information before treatment and it's used to select the treatment options. Pathologic staging is based on clinical data plus surgery and pathology report information and it's used to evaluate end results or survival. This has been brought to you by the American Joint Committee on Cancer, TNM Staging, the Common Language of Cancer. The AJCC provides worldwide leadership in the development, promotion, and maintenance of evidence-based systems for the classification and management of cancer in collaboration with multidisciplinary organizations dedicated to cancer surveillance and to improving care. Thank you.